lighting up the front engine of a warp drive coming up next on Monster Hobbies Let's Build It. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. I found out a really cool way to light up the end cap of our warp drive engine and I want to show you a real simple way to do it. So let's go down to the bench and check this out. Welcome back down to the bench. Now I've gathered up a few little supplies. This won't really be a full, full blown, you know, how to video, but I do want to share something cool that I did find out anyway. So a while ago, my family were in Walmart and in their get rid of bin, we found these fidget spinners. These were being sold. <laughs> there we go. These were being sold in Canada up here at the Walmart nearest us for a dollar a piece. Basically, uh, let's get rid of it type of thing from Walmart because I guess fidget spinners aren't as cool as they once were. Uh, this one, however, has a unique feature. If you squeeze these pads, here, turn it this way. Ah, you can't really see it too well, but this has a lighted effect. Let's see, maybe. Yeah, there we go. And there are three functions. So this is the light effect at full. If you click it again, it does this sort of slow down pattern. And if you click it one more time, it's the absolute slowest pattern. And of course you spin it and it <laughs> gives you all these neat lighting effects. And then if you click it the third time, they turn off. Now here's the cool part. You can push these out <laughs> through the fidget spinner. Make sure you have a hand behind it because I just flicked that across the room. Okay, so there's one of the actual modules right there. Oops. Um, now, what's cool about this is, here's our nacelle end cap. And if you watch this, you see that the, the cap fits there perfectly on these. But there is one little problem. Well, maybe it's not so much of a problem, but there's our lighted cap. <laughs> and you get three of these things, so that's basically 33 cents right there. Now, you can also make this a little brighter on the cap. Okay, so turn the light off. As you can tell, half my face is darker, so I can click this over here. Okay, there can see it going. All right, so you can put it in that end cap like that and you can see the uh, color change effect. However, if you want this brighter, these little caps come apart so that you can put new batteries into them. Uh, there we go. Where is it? So you can just get a fingernail underneath this and there's the plastic cap. Now the thing with the plastic cap is as you can tell it's a um, what is it, opaque which means some light can get through it but it's not completely solid, right? I hope the terminology was correct, I forget. <laughs> but uh, that this will diffuse your your flashing lights and, um, you know, sort of blank them out a bit. However, this is the chip itself right here. It's a little printed circuit board. It's got a very tiny computer chip right there, a three-way button, and then three colored lights. And there's a huge battery on the back of this. So if you push this, you see there's the lights there. This is a full, the second is that effect. Now as you can see it's going uh, one two three there's three lights on here. 
red, blue, and green. So it's going, you know, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it gives it that sort of swirling look. And then of course this is still the three going absolutely the slowest. And they're, they're just flashing. So now you got this undiffused. And then it's kind of hard to hold this in place, of course. But there it is on the warp nacelle engine. So let's see. There. So the idea here is to actually suspend this inside the cap and to put it, well, basically. basically put it right there so that it doesn't shine backward on this part. And of course, when you build your model, you would have to paint this edge, but leave the cap perfectly clear so the light can shine through it. Now the cap is opaque enough on its own that it will diffuse the lights. Now, let's see. Okay, so. Okay, that's right at the front of the cap. You can't really see it too well. <clears throat> oh, no wonder. <laughs> Turn this around. Oops. <clears throat> there. So, without it in the little clear plastic caps, you can see just how bright this actually is. And that's the effect you want to get. So now, let's turn that off. So what I have here is some evergreen strip styrene and the number is 262. This is C channel and it's small enough that it can actually hold the sides of our little computer chip. You want to get one of these things out of here. I don't know if you can see this, but it will hold into the C channel just perfectly. So what you want to do is you want to set this up. Whoops. Oh, come on. To be like this with, let's say my head is that computer chip, right? So you want it to be like this inside the ship. And you also want it to come out this way forward in the side of your warp engine so that this chip would basically be sitting outward, cradled in like, like that kind of thing. So you need to make that kind of frame going this way and then you need something coming out this way to hold the frame in. And then the other idea is to get flat sheet of uh, styrene plastic and curve it to this shape, glue or glue it inside and curve it to this shape and have a bit of it sticking out. Sort of like that, right? And that will anchor onto the front of your cap and slip inside so that you have that ability to just pull the front cap off and press that little button and then slip the front cap back on and that plastic on both sides right so like one on here and one on here protruding out like this would hold the end of the the cap you know what i'm saying like that and then in between there is your little light filament so that's how I would light up my warp engine caps. And hopefully you followed along with that. It's kind of a quick one. So anyway, that basically concludes a little lesson or theory. And if you can get yourself some Walmart spinners for cheap, I'd like to see your results. Well, we hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies Let's Build It, where I showed you a really cheap way to light up that front warp nacelle engine cap. 
And if you would like to contribute to our ongoing series, please go to our YouTube page, YouTube homepage, and look for the PayPal icon and click there, and it'll do the rest. And if you want to check out what kind of models we sell in our store, visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you'd like to see some of our other Star Trek build and upgrade type videos, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel right down here so we can continue to bring you these great videos. And click the notification bell so you know when I upload them. And until next time, live long and prosper.